ora, Volta, and welcome everybody to Mindful Kids Yoga. I'm Jules, this is Tegan, this is Dylan, and this is Lola, the dog. And we're here to do some lovely kids yoga with you today. So, as with all our yoga, grab your big people and little people, whoever is around you at the moment, and let's all do some nice fun yoga together. When we use our body and our breath and our mind, that is our yoga. Today we're going to do um, a book called I Need a New Bum and this is by Dawn Macmillan. Um, it's quite a funny book um, so we decided to do it to bring some humour today. Um, yeah, it's a lot of repetition. Books are always good for kids to learn from so um, doing some nice yoga to a book can be really um, helpful. So we're going to get started the way we always do, just sitting on our bums, crossing our legs and we're going to bring our body up as tall as we can. Just imagine that we're wearing a crown on our head, like we're a king or a queen. And just keeping our spine, which is, the back, which is our back, just as tall as possible. Our, our spine keeps us upright and it's always nice to give it a good big stretch. It always helps us to feel better when we sit up straight. And then we can place our hands on our knees or wherever they fall and we're going to take some big deep breaths into our tummy so we're going to breathe in and breathe out you can feel your tummy rising you breathe in and feel your tummy falling and again one more big deep breath in and a big deep breath out. Now you can place our hands on our heart. And we're just going to feel into our bodies. How did that feel to do some nice, big, deep breaths? Had it, had it made us feel calmer? And has it slowed our heartbeat down a little bit? I'm going to stay here for a moment and just feel into your body, feel into the space. And today we're going to start the class with three big deep arms. So we're going to follow my lead. We're going to take a deep breath in and out. And another deep breath in. And out to chant. Oh. Oh. That was amazing. So loud. Do you think you can make the second one just a little bit louder? Hmm? Can you make it a little bit louder? Yeah. Okay, so let's try. I'm going to have a deep breath in. And out to chant. Oh. Tummies. Mine's got a crack. I can see it in the mirror. Try and look behind. 
a crack in the back. Hmm, I can see it in the back. Hmm, did I do it on the slide? Let's get into a slide pose. We're gonna sit our bum on the mat and bring our legs out straight. We're gonna lean over our legs, just get a nice stretch, like we're sliding down a slide. Nice big stretch. Let's stretch for our legs and our backs. Hmm. Did I do it on the slide or on the banister inside? Let's grab our knees now. Pretend we're on a banister, sliding down the stairs. So we go from one side to the other. Hmm. Or when I jumped on my BMX, a BMX is a bike, isn't it? So let's get into our bike pose. Let's roll onto our back and bring our legs up into the air. I'm gonna roll onto your back and bring your legs into the air. And move your legs like you're on a bike. You can move your arms to make your on a bike or on my BMX. Hmm. Or with the fart that I did next. Oh my gosh, let's roll back. We're gonna roll our bum off the ground and keep our hands on the ground to keep us stable. Keep our bum in the air with the fart that I did next. That's what did it. The fart blew my bum apart. Let's move our legs out wide, blowing our bum apart. Oh my gosh, a fart blew his bum apart. And let's put our legs back down safely and sit back up again. The fart that blew my bum apart, yes. Split the thing, clean in two. Let's get into a warrior two pose. So we're gonna our knees bent, our arms out straight, and just look our eyes over our hands. Keep our body up nice and straight. Hmm. Clean in two. Now I wonder what to do. Let's bring our back foot forward. And we're gonna kneel down. Now I wonder what to do. I need a new one. Let's step back into warrior one. Bring our heels back and bring our hands up straight. I need a new one. Hmm. A green one or a blue one. Let's go into Warrior 3 or our airplane pose here. Hmm. <laughs> a fat one. Let's make our bodies as big as we can. Okay, as wide as we can. A fat one. You can bend your knees out to make yourself even bigger. Fat one. Or a thin one. Let's get into mountain pose and make ourselves as big and tall as possible. A fat one or a thin one. A wood one. Let's get into our wood cutter pose, like pretending we're cutting wood. So bending over, grasping our hands together and bringing our hands up behind our back like we're chopping wood. A wood one <laughs> or a tin one. Let's move down into a forward fold like we're bent over like tin. Hmm. Why not an arty, farty bum? Okay, so let's go back down onto our hands and knees. And we're gonna lift, we're gonna put our forearms onto the ground and lift our bum up into the air like a dolphin pose almost, but sticking our bum up as much as we can. An arty, farty bum. <laughs> One not to be forgotten. Mm. And bring our knees back down when we're ready. With watercolors on the top, Let's get into a downward dog pose. We're really hot. Like on the top of our bum, there's watercolors. Hmm. And a mural at the bottom. So let's get down into our cobra pose and make ourselves as low as we can. A mural at the bottom. Hmm. All right, yellow spotted. Let's bring our legs up, back into the center. Purple dotted. Let's put dots all over our body like we're giving ourselves a little massage. Purple dotted, one with color and flair. Let's jump out wide, color and flair. As bright as I dare to wear. Let's reach up to the sun like it's bright as you dare to wear. Hmm. Ah. Like dad's underwear. So let's gonna bring our heads down and look under our bum so we can see the back behind us and see if we can see dad's underwear. Yeah, my body's a big stretch as well. <laughs> big dad's underwear. Maybe an alien bum. Let's bring our legs back in together. We're gonna bring our fingers up to our, our head like tentacles of an alien. And bring our bodies down as low as we can. Hmm. An alien bum. <laughs> an alien bum made from titanium. So let's make ourselves as strong as we can. Down into our squats. And bring our hands up like we're really strong because titanium is super strong. Hmm. A fireproof one. 
fireproof. Let's reach up like a fiery sun. Sorry. <laughs> fiery sun. A fireproof one. A bulletproof one. Let's bring our hands together like we're firing bullets. A bulletproof one. <laughs> a bombproof one. Let's go into Warrior 3 and bring our legs down like we're drinking a bomb. Bombproof. <laughs> Safety rated. Safety rated. Right bomb. A knight's bomb. So let's move into our Warrior 2. Pretend we have a sword like a knight. A knight's bomb. <laughs> <laughs> one that's armor plated. So let's bring our back leg forward and bring our hands up like we have armor plated. And that's armor plated. A bumper chrome. Hmm, let's get into our car pose. Let's sit on our bums. We're going to bring our legs out wide this time like we're in a car. We're going to pop our seatbelt on. So we're going to go over one side, pop our seatbelt on. And let's just check on the other side to see if we have a seatbelt. On the other side, hmm, a bumper crow, a 1960s sport coupe. So let's pretend we're driving a car like a sport coupe. So let's bring our, our body around into a circle. We're gonna bring our circle around to the other side, gives ourselves a nice little stretch like we're going around the corners in a car. Hmm, one made in the USA <laughs> with accessories to complement. Let's stand up and we're going to get into a chair pose with stripes of silver. We're going to bend our legs down like we're in a chair with stripes of silver smoothly bent. We're going to straighten our legs and bend our bodies over to bend ourselves into a nicely bent pose. Hmm. And we're going to stand up tall again with a set of lights going left and right. So let's lift our left leg and move it back and forward. See if we can balance. Set of legs going left and right. Pop that leg back down, take our right leg up. Left and right. <laughs> <laughs> Moving around left and right with right for backing round in the night. So we're going to take our leg behind us like we're backing off into the night and then taking it back again. So we're doing squats to the back, backing round into the night. And we're going to close our eyes while we're doing this. See if we can balance and do it at the same time. <laughs> Might be really hard to do. Just be careful. Don't fall over. Keep your balance. Hmm. A bumper bum. I'm not scared. Let's get into our bum. Reaching our bum up to the sky again on our tamer dog. Bumper bum. I'm not scared because bum cracks can be repaired. Let's move down into our cobra pose again. Hmm. Bum cracks can be repaired, so easy. But a bumper bum is huge. Let's stand on up and get into a big, huge pose again. Bumper bum is huge. <laughs> and it weighs a ton. Let's move our legs in a bit. And let's weigh a ton like we're really strong. We're weighing a ton. Moving up and down. Whoa, so strong. It weighs a ton. Hmm, I've changed my mind. I want a lighter one. Let's reach up to the sky like we're super light as a feather. Ah, a lighter one. Ah, a rocket bum with fire and thrust. Let's get into a rocket pose. Standing with our legs slightly apart, our hands in the sky. A rocket bum with fire and thrust. Whoa, we can move our body side to side if we want to, like we're a rocket flying through the sky or a robo bum. Now that's a must. Let's get into our robot pose like I am a robot. I am a robot. <laughs> I am a robot. Moving side to side, giving our backs a nice little stretch. I am a robot. But I think it's too late. I think a bum crack is my fate. Let's move into our downward dog pose again. Hmm. I'm here on my own in this Cracked bum zone. Let's move forward into our cobra pose. Ah, on my own in this cracked bum zone. Hmm. I'm gonna step on up again into the middle of our mat. I'm gonna put our arms around us because he says there's no one to care. 
and no one to share. So let's give ourselves a big hug because we're feeling a bit sad. Hmm. Here my arms crack from no one to care and no share. Wait, what is that I hear? This is outrageous. Let's reach up to the sky like it's outrageous. <sighs> Our bum cracks contagious. Dad, your bum crack is showing. Let's reach our legs side and reach and look on under our legs and see if we can reach behind us to see if Dad's bum crack is showing. Oh. Dad's bum crack is showing. Dad, your bum crack is showing. There's no way of knowing just how far it's going. So let's reach back in. I'm going to work it to just how far it's going. We fly into our Warrior three pose goes on forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Yay! That's the end of the story. We're gonna grab, sit down on our bums, and we're gonna lie back down into our shavasana, into our relaxation pose. Ah. So that means we're gonna return the one dead. <laughs> That was a funny story. Yeah, relaxation pose is almost like a dead pose, isn't it? That's a funny story about a bum crack. He was a bit worried because he thought there was something wrong with his bum. Oh, there was nothing wrong with his bum, isn't it? Everyone has a crack in their bum. It's good to have some imagination, though. He had some great ideas throughout that book, didn't he? Yeah. It's always good to have good imagination and have good ideas about what we're doing. And not to worry about things because things just have a habit of working themselves out sometimes. We're just going to take a moment in silence to relax. And when we're ready, we're going to roll over onto our side. I'm going to push ourselves back up onto our bums, onto our bum cracks. Do you feel your bum crack? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> ah, that was a nice story to do. Simple, and hopefully you found some humour in it as well. So we're going to finish our class just the way we started, with three big rounds of arm this time. And I want you to use your big voices that you used in the beginning and try and see if you can go even louder this time. Okay. So I'm gonna breathe in and out to chant. Oh. Bye.